Hello and welcome, or welcome back. I'm the Tilted Crown Gourmet. The holidays are here, and there's no better time for a new libation. That's going to be eggnog. So let's get some prep done, and let's get cooking. Now let's make authentic eggnog. This is an amazing recipe. Don't forget, if you like this video, subscribe and turn on your notification bell. I have my milk and heavy cream heating up in a heavy bottom pot over medium heat. You can change the proportions of cream versus milk if you want it lighter or all cream for a more dense eggnog. However, I believe that the two to one ratio is perfect. Next, have your egg yolks plus the sugar to cream them with. Your alcohol, if you're utilizing it, you can make this without. Your vanilla extract, you can also add a splash of almond extract if you want that bit of frangelical flavor without the additional alcohol. Your egg whites plus the sugar to make your meringue, salt, as well as your nutmeg or cinnamon. Granted, you can add such things as allspice or cloves and things of that nature. However, for me, with this recipe, less is more. Plus, you can always add those as a garnish at the end. Cream your egg yolks with your sugar, beating well until light in color. Then add your spices and salt. Continue to beat to incorporate well. Next, you want to add in your vanilla, and if you're using it, almond extract, making sure that you beat to incorporate all of your additions well. Temper your eggs by slowly whisking in your hot cream and milk mixture, slowly at first, as you don't want to scramble your eggs. Then at the end, you can pour in the remaining liquid. However, you wanna make sure that you're continuing to mix as you do. Place your pot back on the stove over medium heat and stir, making sure that your cream egg mixture does not come to a boil. Remove your egg whites from the refrigerator and place into your mixer and mix on medium high until just below soft peaks. Add in your sugar and beat until soft peaks. It should look a bit like this. This kind of reminds me of shaving cream. That's the consistency that you're going for. Place your egg and cream mixture into a clean bowl and then add your egg whites. You don't need to fold them in as you would for a meringue, but give them a good mix as this gives extra body to your eggnog. You also want to add your alcohol if you're utilizing it. Sorry that my hand is in the way, but I am a one man show. Take your whisk and whisk your egg whites in. This will make your eggnog nice and airy. Once you're done, you want to place into the refrigerator to allow it to cool at least for a few hours, preferably overnight. If you're in a rush, you can place this into an ice bath. Once you remove your eggnog from the refrigerator, you may see that the whites have risen to the top. This is not an issue. Simply take your whisk and give your eggnog a nice whisk to reincorporate those whites. To serve, ladle your eggnog into the glass of your choice. I like the look of a coupe glass for eggnog. Give them a dusting of nutmeg. So now we're gonna give this a little bit of a taste. Granted, you can always add more alcohol or even different alcohol. You could do Frangelico or Kahlua to, as an addition to your eggnog. You have to be the king of your eggnog so you make it as boozy as you so choose. Cheers. I'm the Tilted Crown Gourmet. If you have suggestions as to new dishes, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell as I release new content every Friday. Bon appetit.